What's going on, everybody? It's Alice Stornagger Films. I'm an actor, writer, director, editor, and every day ain't gonna thank y'all. But y'all, if y'all into the film and entertainment space like I am, maybe an actor, YouTuber, musician, whatever it is, guys, this is the channel for you. So I might go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, bell notification, so they don't miss a single day when I be doing this channel. With that said, guys, so let's get on to the video. So, this is a different type of video than I usually typically do. Usually, I just talk more about acting, filmmaking, and how to get started in that. Uh, but I do want to talk more about movies and stuff on this channel So if that's something you guys would like to see more, you know, do more trailer breakdowns like this And just talk about more movies in general Let me know in the comments so, um, you know, I'll know to keep on doing these or not But I do want to expand the channel and, you know, to basically like anything film related Whether it be movies or talking about film, talking about directing or whatever You know, this is the channel for it So, um yeah, let me know if you want to see more stuff like that. But anyway, guys, let's get on to the video. So, this movie, this new shark movie, I'm a sucker for shark movies, so I had to do a video on this one. And this shark movie is called Shark Bait. And um, it's from the um, producers of Great White, which I have heard of that movie. I never watched it before, but I have heard of it. Um, and the 47 Meters Down uh, series, which I did enjoy. Um, I didn't really care much for the first one. Uh, although I will say the first one did have a lot of tension uh, from just being such a small cast, you were on the edge of your seat. But yeah, it, like once you watch it one time or two times, you're like, eh, it's, it's just, eh, it could have been better. Now the second one, I really enjoyed 47 Meters Down on Cage. I liked that one way more than the first one by a long shot. Um, it had a much bigger cast. I liked the fact it was in a cave. So somewhere different and unique, um, some very new and fresh. I did like that. Yeah, although the sharks did look like zombies. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the shark did look a little weird and uncaged. But other than that, I did enjoy the movie. But this movie does look interesting. I mean, it is your typical shark movie. I don't really think it's nothing special about it. But I do want to break down some key parts in this trailer. And uh, also give my personal thoughts about what I would like to see um, in this movie, and hopefully they, you know, they check it off or something. If they got the producers of 47 Meters Down on there, I do expect some elements to be unique in this movie. I would hope. Um, if you got the executives of 47 Meters Down, I would hope so, uh, because that is a pretty unique shark franchise. So with this film, let's get on into it, guys. So it opens up. These kids are out here, these friends, they're out here partying, which looks to seem like it's in Mexico. Um, so they're partying, and then they come across, um, well, this one girl, she comes across this one guy. He says something in Spanish, and then he does this thing with his leg, uh, which basically looks like he's been attacked by a shark. You know, his legs are pretty banged up, and uh, pretty much giving him a warning or whatever. And then it just cuts off to... Um, yeah, the main characters, they steal some jet skis and then they take off into the ocean. <laughs> and then they do this really silly scene where how they get stranded, which is they could have come up with something so much better than this. Like, how about have like the jet skis like run out of gas or something like that would have been so much better. But instead, they they do this. um. Furious 7 scene. Y'all remember back in Furious 7 where um, Brian and Roman, they do like this really cool um, car drift scene together and uh, like, like they like spin the cars in a certain way. I'll show a screenshot here and um, basically like switching, um, like they had Ramsey in one car but they were going to switch her to the other car and like she jumps into uh, Roman's car. Like y'all remember that scene? They tried to do something like that with the jet skis but failed, um, just failed miserably and they ended up crashing and getting stranded out there and yeah the jet ski doesn't work <laughs> uh, so yeah i do think they could have definitely came up with something better than that in terms of how they got stranded out there uh i would have much rather went with them just running out of gas or something still in the get done uh, yeah still in the jet seas you know like well hey it's not supposed to be stolen and you stole it and you didn't check see you know how much gasoline it was in there and boom you got stuck out there like an idiot that would have been a much more believable story versus hey guys let's try to do this ridiculous stunt and crash into each other so yeah i wasn't really a fan of that but hey, i mean stunts i mean hey you gotta get the people attention some way but <laughs> uh, i give them credit for doing something but um 
And then after that, you know, basically you know it's hey, we're stranded out here. We are ho hopefully somebody comes looking for us. And then it cuts to the scene. And by the way, guys, this is trailer two, and I will leave a link to it if you guys um I know I should have said this earlier, but if you don't want to hear me talk through this whole thing, link is in the description, so um you can go watch the full video without me talking. But anyway, guys, so one of the characters, he goes swims out to sea because he sees a boat and then he gets confronted by a great white. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to say much there. You guys can see that in the trailer. <laughs> um, I'm curious how they're going to do his character. Like, I'm, I just hope they do the shark kills differently. You know, make it seem like that um, some people may have died, but they didn't. And they come right back, but then they get a, but then they really die <laughs> at the end. Like, I think that would be cool. Uh, or they make you think one character died, but he lived. So I hope they just play around with that element, uh, especially with this type of shark movie. Yeah, they can really play with the audience, which I really hope they do. Um, and then after that, um, it just basically these guys are trying to survive in the middle of the ocean. Uh, so I have no clue who are going to survive and how on earth they're going to escape. And it seems like the plan is they're trying to um, get the jet ski started again. Uh, from the ridiculous crash that happened <laughs> that collided um, So yeah, so they're trying to get the jet ski started. I don't know will they get it started or not and uh, but, Hey, hopefully they do who knows but if not I am curious how this will all end You know now I will say this in terms of my final thoughts of this film um, This film will be very interesting if it ends off with it everybody gets eaten like everybody get ate up nobody lives which would be a high outcome because like I mean like you're in the middle of the ocean stranded on a jet ski you can't get it running the shark actually jumped up and uh, flipped the jet ski at one point in the trailer so I don't know man like uh, like are these guys gonna get lucky somehow I don't know and also another key element I do want to see in this film is you know because you don't really see this much with shark movies um, but I want to see a more dynamic um, environment, you know, don't just like make these sharks seem like they're like the most top tier killing machine, you know, give these sharks a challenge too. you know, this is the middle of the ocean, anything can pop up, pop out at any time. So, you know, introduce killer whales, could killer whales save the entire uh, remaining cast and crew because killer whales, a group of them. They can take on great whites, no problem. It's actually um, been um, a video out there that um, killer whales can, you know, easily kill a great white. So uh, yeah, like that would be cool to see such an element into a shark film. You know, letting the audience know that hey, you know, there are other more dangerous things out there. Sharks aren't just the most dangerous things. Uh, you got killer whales out here. So that'd be cool to see like a mixed element. So it'd be like, yeah, like um the people aren't just on the menu but the sharks are too and, and um and they can make the orcas uh, come and save the day out of nowhere and save the cast and um in terms of how they get back to shore who knows they can just cut it off there for all i know but that'll be interesting to see just to play around with the open water and just the ocean environment i wouldn't mind seeing a film that does that like a really good shark film that can do that uh, that's one of my biggest disappointments with movies like Shark Night, even though I really enjoyed that movie. But if you're going to do a movie in a swamp, like, come on, man, you got alligators there. Y'all couldn't have added one shark versus alligator fight or like a freaking shark and alligator tag team and trying to attack a person like that would have been cool to see. But, um, you know, like I just want to see, you know, something unique, something really unique for this film. But um, they do got a producers of 47 meters down. So uh, I do expect to see something, you know, sort of unique with this film. But hey, um, I'm going to give it a try. I'm not sure. Will it be in theaters? Will it go straight uh, to DVD? No idea. But if you got a producers of 47 meters down, it's probably going to theaters. Um, and also, um, when I watch the trailer, this could be an R rated film. So yeah, I'm curious to see how that works. But. Uh, anyway, guys, it's your boy Al with Storm Dagger Films. If you like this type of content, let me know what you guys think. I'll be seeing you on the next video. Hope you guys enjoy. Y'all take it easy.